it's Sunday, it's daylight savings, which means I had an 8 o'clock job today. I've not had an 8 o'clock job in forever. I've been making myself available from 9 o'clock because 8 o'clock means I have to wake up at 5 o'clock. Waking up at 5 a.m. and starting to walk sugar around that time is way too hard. It's assembly job to assemble three of these shelves. And it was so easy. I did it in 30 minutes. Oops. Look at that. Look at it. So big. My real life tulip. You're my daughter at Trader Joe's. This is what they look like. You preheat the oven to 375 and you uh, cook it for 11 minutes. This is what it looks like. I turned off the oven after 11 minutes and then, oh, there's already a dog hair on there. I actually like it more than regular chicken nuggets from like McDonald's. It's not very, it's not as rubbery. But I just got done with the home repair job, putting up two curtain rods and five pa sound paneling things, which were really light, so I just used one screw for each one. You don't hear from us anymore. You know what happened. I love you. We are all in this boat together. Interesting, cool. Look, Sugar, it's your friends. Sugar's your friends. The mechanic looked pretty busy when I got there because I was also really late. Uh, I said 10, but I got there at like 10.40. And um, yeah, so I have a feeling it's gonna be like three hours, maybe even four hours. And I've only been able to kill 50 minutes. <laughs> and my legs are tired, I'm hungry, so. I think I brought something to eat on my cold pizza. Mm, something about eating outside is just so like my favorite thing. Got the call from the mechanic. Car is done, but it's starting to rain like crazy and it's cold. We walked for like almost like two and a half hours. So I just got done at the mechanic and at Home Depot. So the ones that I've, I've been using, which is this one, I had the premium one, which was $10. This is like almost $8. $8. And the lightweight $10 one is great because you can paint in 15 minutes. But these, this one says paint in one to five hours, but from my experience, I feel like it dries really quickly. This one is the cheapest one, and this is paint ready in 30 minutes, so I just wanted to try it. Yeah. But I'm gonna get gas, and let me show you after. But I'm gonna leave this on so you can see sugar, maybe. Although you give me feeling pain, you know, oh, I can't control. Oh my gosh, I just looked at the car <laughs> and the thing that the guy put in the hole that was missing, it's perfect. It matches my paint perfectly too. Oh man, I'm getting gas at Arco and it's already 485. It's crazy. But it's not as crazy as what's going on in Ukraine, so I should be grateful. But man, they did such a good job with the car. It was almost $700, which I thought it was going to be $600. So it was almost $700, so it was kind of a surprise, but they did such a good job. It looks so amazing. I'm really happy. You don't even want to see the mess that is in front of me right now because I took out so many things. My ladder, my tool bag. There's actually a dirty towel in there. I just remembered I didn't use. I was going to do like a demonstration of like actually using the vacuum to clean, to clean my comforter or something because I have a ton of dog hair on there but I decided to not because there's actually not that much and that's not really the intended purpose. But I opened this one it was brand new it looks like whipped cream and the texture is like kind of wet I feel like I'm doing a makeup review <laughs> but it's not makeup but this is supposed to dry in 30 minutes so We'll see. 
So this is the one that I use for my drywall demonstration video, which like, because I don't really know how to have the, like I don't have enough experience to do drywall from powder to know like what ratio of water you should have and like what consistency is good enough for drywall. So anyway, I just got pre-mixed um, compound. But anyway, I use this to um, patch up all those huge dings that I was at yesterday, but this one is so wet that it doesn't dry very quickly. Yeah. It's all like liquidy and ooh. I don't even want to smell it. Probably smells really bad. But I mean, but what I have been using is the Drydex Dry Time Indicator Spackling, and this one comes out pink, but like it's so close to finishing and dried out that it's like super light pink. But on a nice brand new tub, which I just purchased, super bright pink. And I'll bring this one and this one for the job. Got the works. That's one hundred and nine dollars. For that and that the charger the battery the battery is right here and then we have this one with tax and everything i think it was like 72 dollars it was uh, it's the black and decker pivot lithium 20 volt and that's the charger it's a lot more thin doesn't feel as durable and you just charge it like this like that stands on its own and the charging time is it takes a while but I feel like it lasts a pretty long time this is with the first power second so I push this I push this button here and that allows me to I'm use my foot open like this. <laughs> okay, let me try. Now, which will last in its battery? I'm gonna keep this one on before it turns off on its own, okay? All right, so I kept them on the whole time, this on the second setting, because this one only has one setting, because that's two, this one. This one. It should turn off on its own. It just did earlier. See it turn off. Okay, so this one turned off first, but really by like maybe a minute shorter than this one. So the battery power is pretty much the same except when I'm cleaning around with this, it feels like it suctions a lot more. With this, it doesn't feel like it's suctioning as much because I guess the nozzle is smaller. So I really don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like the Black & Decker cleans better as with this one, the works. One is just kind of cuter and more professional looking. It's, I can actually like, you know, kind of weasel my way in there and it has like another attachment. This one has this and you can also take out the brush part. So as far as charging, fully charged, the Black & Decker definitely takes longer. The Works um, has a detachable battery. And according to Michael, I can get an adapter so I would be able to use my DeWalt. So all around, I think the Works is better. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for. This is me from present day, it's Friday, and something's happening with my computer, so I have to finish this video. The next video is gonna be what I've filmed over the last couple of days, but today is today, and I would like to give you my final decision. I am returning the works vacuum, and I'm gonna keep the Black and, uh, the black and Decker pivot. Why? Because even in its second setting, this is still not as powerful as this one. And a more powerful vacuum of a size like this is something that I would 
need more. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Peace.